If your name is Hazel, Hazel, you're born on the 9th of May, 2003. Young girl, beautiful, beautiful young girl. Please stand up and come in front. Everybody keep on praying. Focus on yourself. Hazel. I'm looking for Hazel. 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 This side. Hazel. 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 Are you Hazel? Are you Hazel? See, God is rescuing you. Jesus. Is she Hazel? She's coming. Lobo soro bo sete rebe kanta. Yarababo. Yerere shokoro bo soto. Yerebe shi yarababo soto robo siya. Yarababa soto robo. Here le le corioro bo 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 bo. Shire le 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 shokoro bo bo bo. Zire be koro bo. Siara ba koro bo soto. Jesus. Your name. You make me a strong time. Please don't don't stand up. You can dance like this. While you are seated. this young girl, beautiful young girl, the hand of God is upon her. Thank you, Jesus. You know, it, it is clear when you look at somebody in the Holy Ghost to see the star of God in his life. This young girl is called for great business. Tomorrow, as she develops in what God said, I am seeing an entrepreneur that is coming out. It is by plane. I look at her right now. I'm speaking to you what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a very ambitious young girl. What's your name? My name is Hazel. Your name is Hazel. Yes, Pastor. Hazel, when were you born? I was born on the 9th of May, 2003. Hallelujah. Something sweet about you. God has destined you for something glorious. Thank you, Jesus. And today there is no mistake. God wanted you to be here. Do you come to church here? Is it first time? Are you part of a branch? No, it's my first time coming to church. It's your first time coming to church. Somebody give him praise. You make me a strong tower, Jesus. To you belong all power, Jesus. Whenever I call your name, 
You're gonna make a way. The name is a strong tower, Jesus. You speak so well. It's your first time coming to church. Yes, Pastor. You were born on the 9th of May, 2003. Yes, Pastor. Are you studying? What do you do? Um, I'm not studying, but I'm, I'm doing, I'm a hairdresser. Oh, you are a hairdresser. Yes, Pastor. You're not studying, but you're a hairdresser. You make people's ugliness go away. Yes, Pastor. You make them nice again. Yes, Pastor. So when they come to you, you fix their hair, they go out all beautiful. Yes, Pastor. I'm trying to make you comfortable. Okay. <laughs> the Lord has a plan for you. And I see you with great ambition. I just said, I see you in business. Yes. As you grow, your future is so bright that your enemies will need sunglasses. To see through it. But you see, you gotta take right steps, proper step, properly. If you are here today, God is trying to fulfill His word, but He's also helping you because He wants me to cover you. And the reason why God wants me to cover you is because the Lord is telling me. Satan wanted you already gone. As young as you are, he wanted to kill you. But God says that he sets you up today because he's protecting you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Do you know anybody who was born on the 16th of September, 2000? Yes, Pastor, that's my boyfriend. Uh -huh. Your boyfriend? Yes, Pastor. Is your boyfriend boyfriend, right? Yes, Pastor. And he was born on the 16th of September, 2000. He's yes. three years older than you. Yes, Pastor. Do you love him? Yes, Pastor. Nkosinati. Yes. Where is he? She's in, inside the church. You came to church with him? Yes, Pastor. Were you sitting with him? Yes, Pastor. Call him. Call him yourself. Because Nati, can you please come in front? When you meet, you call him what? Because Nati, or you call him honey, baby? <laughs> what do you call him? Sweetie. What do you call him? Papi? Honey. Honey, may I call him honey? Honey is coming. We are here. Hey. Whoa. Hello. Are Hello. you causing a tea? Amen, amen, amen. Hello to me too. Amen. How are you doing? I'm doing good. What's your name? Kosnati Dube. Is that your name? Yeah, Kosnati Dube. Kosnati Dube is your name? Yes, Pastor. Peter gave it to you. Peter is my father. Glory to Jesus. Do you know this young girl? Do you know her? Yes, Pastor. Who is she? She is my girlfriend, Hazel. Do you love her? Yes, Pastor. How do you call her? Her <laughs> babes. You call her babes? Yes. Is she your babes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Is the first time coming to church? Is it your first time or you brought... No, it's my first time, Pastor. Both of you, it's your first time? Yeah, it's our first time. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your hands toward this young man and this young girl. 
The reason why I called you and I thank God that God spoke about him is because as the Lord is saying, he sets you for something great. He asked me to cover you. And the reason why God said I should cover you, my heart is beating, is because though young, the enemy had already set path for you to go. I am seeing you bleeding, bleeding. And in fact, God is saying to me, exactly on the 10th of January this year, your life could have been taken. Do you understand? Yes, Pastor. I am seeing, it's like a, have you had a miscarriage or something? Yes, Pastor, it's true. You had a miscarriage? Yes, Pastor. Was it of you? Yes, Pastor. Come close to her. Cosinati and Hazel, you're young. Your future is in front of you. I like the way you look. I believe that God has something in store for you. You came today for the first time and God knows you by name. He knows when you came to be. And the Lord is saying that is doing something. If you were born in 2003, it means that you are 19 years old. You're 19 yes, years old. Are you staying together? Yes, Pastor, we're staying together. You're staying together? Yes, Pastor. I, I don't understand this generation. For how long have you been staying together? Two years. If you are today 19 years old, You've been staying with your boyfriend. Is he your husband? Did, did you pay already Lobola? No, Pastor. You, you were born in 2000. mean that you are 22 years old to be in September. Yes. Yes, Pastor. Two years ago, you were 20 years old. Yes, Pastor. You, 20 years old, staying with a 17-year-old girl. Together, I want to pray for you. But, but, but do you think when you do things like this? What is happening to this generation? <laughs> Having a boyfriend and a girlfriend is one thing. You broke every principle in the book and you decide to stay together as husband and wife. This is not something to be proud of. Sincerely not. Now as I pray for you, I should pray for you as a couple. I should pray for you as my son and daughter. I should pray for you as what? We have to go back to the elementary principles of life. You cannot just look good as a girl, look good as a boy, and decide, especially under age, decide, I'm coming home, I'm staying with you. It is not okay. Today, I'm speaking to you with a lot of love because what I'm seeing here could have taken your life you're too young to start experiencing miscarriages because I see this is not the first miscarriage you had. Yes, Pastor. Now, you are so... Don't pull that part of me. It is just not okay. You should go back home. This thing together stops here. Did you hear that? Yes, Pastor, we'll go back home. Yes, my daughter, please. Jesus. The handsome young man, very tall, good looking, will still be here. If you do things correctly, you will enjoy things better. Amen. Because in life, even good things must be done the correct way, the good way. If there is any young person here, you just cross the border just like that. 
Instead of using the door, you use the window. If you rectify it, God's blessing will come. Thank you, Jesus. You will realize that if you do it correctly, first God will open your hands. And he will help you honor your parent, honor the community, your family, and the church, especially in this day. Do you understand? I understand, Pastor. I understand. I know winter is coming, but you meant to be alone. Buy a teddy bear. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> My daughter, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, Pastor, I understand. I want you to go home for a while, okay? Until things are done properly. Do you understand? Yes, Pastor. You could lose your life. You started bleeding. I am seeing that two-month pregnancy gone. Before you got to the hospital, you were bleeding. And God is saying the enemy trapped you. Because Satan wants to derail your path. He wants to destroy your future. If you heed to the call of God today and decide, I will do it my best way. You will open his doors. You will open doors for yourself. Jesus. Satan will be away from you. Now hear me. I am not asking you to stop your relationship. Start hating each other. No. I'm just not okay that you're staying together. And I'm not okay that you're doing that. Stretch your hands. Let's kick the devil out. Jesus. Your future will not be stolen. Amen. Amen. And as I've spoken to you, I'll take responsibility. Men live by responsibility. Are you hearing me? Amen. Pastor. You have to understand responsibility and assume your role. Amen. Amen. If you want to get married, you must do it as a man in the proper way. Not a trouser wearer. Hey, Jesus. May God raise a generation of young men who understands responsibility and want to do things in a proper way. Jesus, man. And God will help you do that. He will give you what you need. As you just say, I will do it in the correct way. Amen. And I will try my best to stand with you and guide you. Are you with me? I, I will help you. I will get my pastors involved. Will I help you love each other? <laughs> will I help you? Until that day where we hear the sound. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Stretch your hands. You can see how beautiful the couple is. Beautiful young girl. Handsome. Stylish. Young boy. And today they decide to do it well. You will not die before your time. They can look for you. They will catch you. You are born with greatness. Thank you, Lord. And hear me, you are doing hair, it's good. You have compromised already a number of things for you to start doing hair. You must go back to school. Yes. You, you know, I'm a pastor here. I happen to be a pastor. If you ask some people, say I'm a pastor, but I'm a student. I'm still studying. I'm doing a doctorate oh, yeah. degree. Hallelujah. I'm still studying. So you're not too old to study. And you cannot in no way think that you're too old to study. Yo. 
Stretch your hand. Let's pray for them. If you have a child, you have a son, you have a daughter, as you pray for them, may God visit your family. I receive it. A son, a daughter must honor his parent. Yes. The least you ask. These ones will bring honor because God has stepped in. Thank you, Jesus. And he will bless them. And I have stepped in. Will I help you? Stretch your hands. Father, we pray for them. Can I have all of you? Just, just cover them. Just cover them. Pray for them. them. We pray. We cover them. Ramasete bekodo bosoto. Masere begondo. Lamasete pray. Speak to God for them. Mare bekoto bosoto. Masere bekonto. Do it, O God. Change their stories, O God. In the name of Jesus. You own my heart in place. Do what I ask you to do, okay? My name is Hazel Diweni. This was my first time coming to church and I met Pastor Alf Lukau and I was surprised when he called my name public and saying some information about me. If your name is Hazel, Hazel, you're born on the 9th of May 2003. Young girl, beautiful, beautiful young girl. Please stand up and come in front. And I thank Pastor because he helped me and he prayed for me and he showed me the way. He guided me as his child. I thank the Lord for everything that Pastor did to me today. My name is Gosnati Dube. Here on my side, it's Hazel, Dewayne, my girlfriend. Um, today we came to church. At first, we had a problem on living. We are staying together. We've been staying together for two years now. We, have a, we are having a problem. She, my girlfriend is having miscarriages. She had miscarriages more than once. So the last time when she had miscarriage, it was on the 10th of January, 2022. Exactly on the 10th of January this year, your life could have been taken. Do you understand? Yes, Pastor. I am seeing it's like a... Have you had... A miscarriage or something. Yes, please, that's true. You had a miscarriage. Yes, I'm speaking to you with a lot of love because what I'm seeing here could have taken your life. You're too young to start experiencing miscarriages because I see this is not the first miscarriage you had. Yes, please, so when I tried to take her to hospital, it was too late for that. Then we lost the baby. But today we came to church at Sentin. We made Pastor Alpha Lukau. He helped us. So I thank Pastor Alpha Lukau for praying for us and guiding us on our relationship for us not breaking up but to do the right thing. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Alpha Lukau on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on amitv.com. You can follow Pastor Alflokau on all social media platforms at Alflokau.